Hi everyone, welcome to day 9 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the interview questions that was asked in Apple data analyst interview. So let's see the question. Given two table customers and purchases where customer contains information about customers and purchase contain information about their purchases. Write an SQL query to find the customers who bought an AirPods after purchasing an iPhone. In the table we have one table that is customers table. In the customers table, we have the information about customer ID and the customer name. In the purchase table, we have purchase ID, customer ID, product name and the purchase date. So we need to find out the customers who bought an AirPods after purchasing an iPhone or maybe at the same time. So let's just go ahead and see how we can solve these questions. Okay. So first we need to find out all the customers who bought an iPhone, right? Find out all customers who bought iPhone right so we need to find the customers who bought iPhone that's the first thing then we need to find out all the customers who bought an airport right all customers who bought airports right so these are the two things that we need and the third things that we need to ensure that the customers bought the airport after purchasing the iPhone right so basically we kind of need to basically you know make a self join here okay so we can say customer has to buy airports after purchasing the iPhone right so basically we, need, we want to see how how basically iPhone is influencing customers to buy the airports right so that is the goals of these questions right so let's start writing our query to solve this question so first we will select everything from the customers table because we want to see all the customers details right so I can say C dot everything which means everything from the customers table and I'm going to basically give an alias to this customer table as C okay so that means I'm selecting everything from the customers table I can just run it you can see I have all the customers name and basically their customers ID right now I can join this table with the purchase table to see the customer who has bought an iPhone right so I can say join and I can join with what join with purchase table so it's say purchases as P now the both the table has the same column which is basically the customers ID like this column which is customer ID so I can just say that join on C dot customer ID equals to P dot customer ID okay now I can just run this query I have basically joined both the table now I have all I can see all the customers right from both the table now what I want to do basically is that I want to see the customers who has bought an iPhone right so I can say here where and then I can say conditions where this iPhone right where the product name where the product name so I can just go ahead and say where the product name from this purchase table now in the purchase table we have a product name which is column which is this one right product name column now as we have joined both the table now I can go ahead and say where this product name which is from purchase table p dot product name okay, equals iPhone so that's how basically I see all the customers who has bought iPhone okay, if I just run it I see all these customers they bought iPhone right that's fine now next what we need to basically do is that we need to also see the customer who has bought airport as well right and the condition is that the airport the customer has to buy the airport after purchasing an iPhone right so what we can do is basically we can uh, call this purchase table as P1 okay and uh, we'll do a self join basically with this table and we will join this table with basically the purchase table again so I'll tell you the reason why so first let's say I'm just joining these two table and I'm just naming this table as purchase table as p1 okay now I'll do one more join here okay I'll just keep this where condition for the last so I will say join again now I'll basically do a self join with the same table which is purchase so I'll say join purchase table as p2 now this is my second table so now what condition I'm joining I'm joining on the same condition which is this conditions so this time I will say instead of p1 instead of it's going to be p2 so I'm basically making one more table as a p2 from the purchase table and this time I'm saying join on customers ID equals to purchase step uh, p2 dot customers ID okay now basically I kind of join both the table and I did a self join with the same table again okay now this is fine now we can just go ahead and say the first condition which was uh, the iPhone that's from the purchase one table so I'm saying that if the customer has purchased iPhone show me the customer details now I will be adding one more conditions where I'm saying that if the customer also bought an iPhone you know airports that then basically show me the details so let's just, just see the airport spelling 
so this is the airport spelling so now I can add one more conditions with this where and I can say where this product name basically this product name instead of equals to iPhone I will say this product name equals to what airport okay now this is fine so I'm selecting show me all the customers where this customers has to buy a basically iPhone that is from the purchase table one and then I'm saying from the purchase table to the same customer has to buy an airports okay now basically it is going to show me all the customers who has bought an iPhone and who has bought an basically airport basically they need to buy both the product okay that is fine till here now next what I want to ensure that this airport that they have bought that is they bought after purchasing the iPhone right so to do that I can basically go ahead and say that see the purchasing date for this airport has to be basically what has to be greater than this iPhone purchasing date that's how I can ensure that this uh, product they have bought the airport they have bought that they have bought after purchasing the iPhone correct so I can go ahead and say one more uh, conditions this time one more end and I can say that P1 which is P1 so basically purchase table one of uh, you know kind of uh, then we can say the purchase date okay so let's just see the column name so I think column name is going to be the same which is going to be this column purchase date so we're saying from the purchase table one and I'm saying purchase purchase date so this purchase date has to be basically less than what less than the airport purchase date because if the airport purchase date is basically later than this date then the airport purchase date is going to be higher right so we can say that p2 dot purchase date okay now for example this this purchase table one which is purchase table date from purchase table one that means the iphone purchase date should be less than basically this purchase date right now if you bought iphone yesterday and if you bought today airport so the today date would be greater than basically yesterday date right so that's how basically we are making this third conditions okay now if i just run this query okay it's going to basically give us all the customers details who has purchased an iphone and then they have purchased an airport okay so first condition is that they will have to buy an iphone the second condition is they have, they have to buy an airports and the third condition is that the purchasing of airport date has to be basically you know basically later than this purchasing of iphone okay now we can just go ahead and run it it's going to basically give us the result so now you can see we have two uh, two customers one is john one is ben so they both basically bought a uh, you know kind of iphone then they bought airports so we can use a distinct functions here also to ensure that if there is same customers uh, you know purchasing twice so ignore that okay because we want to see only one customer once now let's understand if john and ben has actually purchased an airport after purchasing the iphone right let's see the table so in the table you can see uh, so john the customer id is one and ben is customer id four let's see customer id one so this is for john so you can see john has purchased iphone on first january 2024 then john has purchased basically airports on uh, you know march 10 march 2024 so that means this date is after purchasing the iphone right so this is basically fulfilling all our conditions now let's see the second one which is ben so ben you can see purchase an iphone on 22nd of uh, march and the ben has purchased basically airport on 29 of march so they both basically fulfilling the conditions that we have defined okay so that is fine now that is fine you understood basically how kind of we build this logic to solve this uh, you know questions now i have a small task for you okay let's let me just show you a task so task is that find out what is the percentage of chance is there that the customer who bought a macbook will buy an airports so basically what you need to do is you need to find out the total customers who bought basically macbook and out of those customers how many of them basically you know bought airports that's how basically you can find this ratio basically if they, let's say two customer bought macbook and out of two custom out of two customer both the customer bought basically airports so basically the chances of the customer buying macbook then buying airport is 100 percent right so you can kind of find out this a percentage you can write down your solutions in the comment sections if you're stuck if you need any help do let me know i will help you so that you can solve these questions if you want to download this data set check the link in the video descriptions you can download this data set from my github and you can basically practice the same question that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end you have a good day see you tomorrow